During the Cultural Revolution, Mao Zedong had essentially encouraged the people of China to get rid of the four olds. To revolutionize the country into a socialist society in which no one should have the desire for it, like being an intellectual or monetary goods, that does not involve the support of Mao Zedong. Once Mao Zedong had a firm grasp on the mentality of Chinese citizens, what was once loyalty to one family would now be loyalty to Mao Zedong and the revolution. If one of the family had done something that would be classified as rightist, counter-revolutionary, or defied Mao Zedong in any way, then the family would most likely isolate them. But even when they had cut all ties with them, the whole family would still be shunned and treated like trash by society. I believe that many people, even after Mao Zedong's death, had took a mental toll after all the brainwashing and propaganda that Mao had supported. <clears throat> For some, like Lin Chen, were able to overcome the difficulties, recognize the truth, and recognize that blind obedience would lead to the destruction of one's country. But for others, they continued to worship Mao as a god, <coughs> revered him as their martyr who had done no wrong. It is the officials underneath Mao that had caused all the violence and death in China, or at least that's what they believe. I believe that some of the major reasons that Mao had gained such a big following was because he was well versed in propaganda, similar to Stalin. Another reason is that communism was something that the lower class and the poor working class desperately desired due to the exploitation that the people in power had committed. <clears throat> The main people that were valorized were those who were blindly following Mao's orders and decrees without hesitation, such as the Red Guard. But those that were criticized were the ones that did too little in any Mao revolution, those that were considered intellectuals, in the sense that they read works outside of Mao's little red book, er, or anything outside of socialism. Anything that related to the Western or European nations would also be criticized and those who defied Mao in any type of way, innocent or not. The, main, um, the Red Guards were a group of young citizens such as teenagers who would carry out Mao's decrees or desires and terrorize their village to get rid of the four olds. Anything that would relate to Western and European idea and any Mao's opponents would be burned or thrown. They would tear up people's houses by destroying walls and tearing up their floorboards in order to look for anything that might have been hidden or beat the people of the household until they stayed their grievances. The best and well-known example would be when Lian Heng's father had his collection of literature burned by the Red Guards and when Lian Feng, his daughter, had tried to throw away one of his paintings and that resulted in argument. In Sons of the Revolution, the propaganda is vehemently visible. The people in the book would be forced to read Mao's Little Red Book, memorize certain songs, recite the... Um, his sayings and hear the preachings of Mao's followers. In turn, very quickly, the people of China would begin to believe that Chairman Mao is their almighty that could do no wrong. The propaganda would eventually lead to blind obedience, which would result in danger of China.